So when you come turn car, but you're coming to Thailand, you have no idea what to put in your backpack or suitcase. I'm about to tell you. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you clicked on this video, you are wondering what to be bringing on your holiday here to Thailand. Now I have been coming to Thailand for over seven years and I've actually lived here for the last year. So hopefully these tips are gonna help you out. Today, I'm going to give you my top 10 tips of things to bring when you come here to Thailand, what you need to put in that backpack and suitcase. Let's get straight into it. Medication. Now, if you are taking tablets or something that is quite serious and you need medicine on a regular basis, I really, really do advise that you bring your medicine out here with you. It's not that you can't get medicine out here. Obviously, you can get medicine out here. There's plenty of pharmacies and we even have a boot. But if there's something that you need that's really, really important, make sure that you bring it with you. Also, ladies out there on birth control pills, you know, there's a bit of a language barrier out here sometimes. So you don't want to come out here and not be able to get all the birth control pills if you decide to extend your holiday out here. So make sure you bring enough birth control pills to last you for the whole duration of your holiday and also if you decided to stay here. Now, as I say, medicine is widely available from problems with your belly, vitamins, and also paracetamol if you needed it. One thing I do struggle to get hold of when I need it is ibuprofen. You can get it, but they're under different brand names and the only place you can actually buy a proper ibuprofen is at Boots. So unless you're close to a Boots, it can be difficult to get hold of. So yeah, bring your medicine with you. A bag. Yes, a bag. It might seem like I'm teaching you how to suck eggs but bring a bag with you, a bag that you can use on your daytime. So you're gonna be going to places, you're gonna be traveling around, going to the beach, going here, there, and everywhere. So make sure that you bring a bag with you. Now, this isn't actually the bag that I normally use on a daily basis. I actually have another bag which attaches to my backpack. So if you haven't actually bought a backpack yet, go and buy a backpack that actually has a backpack that goes on the backpack. Sorry if I keep saying backpack, but yeah, you have backpacks that can go on the top like this, so they zip on around it. You get extra storage on your actual big backpack, and it means that you've got a bag to use on a daily basis. These are obviously really, really handy every single day, whether you're going to the beach or whether you're jumping on a motorbike for the day and going traveling around an island, a bag is an essential. Whilst we're going through these guys as well, I forgot to say, make sure you drop me any comments below on things that you think that you should bring to Thailand are an essential for you to come on holiday. Also, make sure you stick around till the end because I've got two bonus tips on top of the tent yep two now this one might not seem like an obvious one but sunscreen now why i hear you say surely it's available everywhere in thailand well, absolutely yes it's available everywhere in thailand but it's expensive now why is it expensive they know you're going to need it you come into thailand it's hot it's over 30 celsius every single day even on rainy days, the sun is out, you're going to need your suntan lotion. Literally, in some places, I've seen it nearly double the price of what it is back in my home country in the UK. So make sure you bring a bottle with you. There's also another reason why you should bring suntan lotion with you. A lot of the suntan lotions out here have whitening agents in them. I don't know why, but Thais are absolutely obsessed with being white. Um, it's something to do with the culture about if you're white, then you know, you're know you more rich because you don't have to work outside, etc., etc. But yeah, a lot of the products out here have whitening agents in them. So bring your own from back home. It's a much, much better idea. Also, they even have deodorant out here with whitening agent. What the hell is that? This one is one of my favorites. This isn't just a tip for coming to Thailand. This is a tip for travel worldwide. A travel adapter. Now, obviously that's quite an obvious one, right? Travel adapter, you can use it anywhere you want in the world, different plugs, you might have already known that one. But one thing that people don't think about, the extension lead. Bring these two, this is all you need to bring in your bag. One travel adapter, one extension lead. I have eight power points here for all of my electrics that I use from back home that I can plug in here without having to buy eight of these. You can even get more advanced and you can actually buy one like this with USB chargers in them as well. So you can literally just plug your phone straight into them. So yep, you're welcome. Sticking with the power theme, a power bank. Now, if you're gonna be doing Thailand properly, you're gonna be traveling around all over the place. You're gonna be getting on airplanes, you're gonna be getting on buses, you're gonna be getting on mini buses, and you're gonna be using your phone a lot, whether that be taking photos, watching videos on your phone, or watching Netflix. So one of these is absolutely essential to have in your bag. Now, these are widely available throughout Thailand, so if you don't manage to bring one with you, don't panic, you can buy them from a shop out here. But if you can bring one with you, obviously it'll be handy for the airplane flight over as well. Most airplanes do have power sockets these days, but just in case it's always handy to have one of these. You also don't want to be caught somewhere in the middle of nowhere where your battery runs out on your phone and you're stranded. So literally this could save your life. 
a bit extreme, but yeah, bring a power bank. So when you come traveling to Thailand, you're gonna be on a very, very long flight. And if you're anything like me, you wanna get some sleep on that airplane. So bring in noise canceling headphones are the one. Now I use uh, Beat Power Beats Pro by Dr. Dre. I'm not sponsored by him, don't worry. But any kind of noise that canceling headphones will do the job. There is nothing worse than sitting on an airplane or sitting on a bus or a minibus and not being able to listen to music or listen to what you're watching without having the noise of a crying baby or somebody talking or even worse, the noise of somebody eating. I don't know if anybody else hates that, but one of my pet hates as well is hearing people eating. Grab some headphones. These ones here have got 20 hours worth of charge, so if you're gonna get wireless headphones, make sure you've got the charger with them as well. Make sure they're always fully, fully charged. Bringing headphones to Thailand is literally gonna change your life. You can use them in all sorts of situations, like I say, whether you're on a bus, plane, mini bus, even if you're staying in a hostel. Now, I've had experiences in the past where I've stayed in rooms where people have been talking in the room or a loud snorer. If you've got some headphones, you pop them in, play some music off your phone or play some sounds of whales swimming or the sea or anything like that gonna change your life. Next one is a passport wallet or a travel wallet, whatever you want to call it. Now these things are great. It means that you can keep all of your stuff in one place. Got some nice slots in there for your cards, etc. Putting your passport in there, any sort of money you've got in there, any tickets that you've got for anything that you're going to. Now these are great to have. It keeps everything organized. I can't actually shut it. <laughs> keeps everything organized. And I would always advise that when you're staying in hotels to keep these locked up in a safe. Keep your passport in there. Keep any important documents that you need inside this. Okay, the next one is a jacket or a raincoat. Now you're probably sitting there wondering why the hell would I need that in a tropical hot country? Well, exactly that, it is a tropical hot country. It sometimes rains here without any warning, like it will just pour it down and you won't even know anything about it. So it's really, really handy to have one of these about. I have one that just sits in a little pouch here, which is really, really handy. You can just chuck it in your bag, doesn't take up any room whatsoever. But these are also really, really good to have if you go traveling in the north. Now, if you don't already know, you go to places like Chiang Rai, Chiang, Chiang Mai, any kind of the northern areas between November and March, it can get very, very cold there. I've even found myself wearing jeans of a nighttime there because it's got so cold. So it's really, really handy to have one of these at hand, keep yourself warm and to keep yourself dry. Whilst we're on the subject of keeping warm, a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers is a must in your backpack or suitcase. The reason being is that when you want to travel to places here in Thailand, you need to wear these when you go to like places like the temples or anything kind of Buddhist, they won't let you wear shorts inside or, or ladies, you're not allowed to wear like a, a short skirt or again shorts or, or hot pants, anything like that. You must wear something that covers your whole entire legs. So these are a must to bring if you're just gonna be visiting the tourist attractions here. Also a little bonus tip on top of that as well, make sure you don't just bring a vest top, okay? You need to be bringing t-shirts as well. Just make sure that you cover all parts of your body. You won't be able to get into these destinations without having them. Also having the jeans and the trousers is handy if you ever wanna visit any kind of rooftop bar or anything like that. Always great to have a pair of these in your bag. Money, yes, M money. Bring money to Thailand. Sounds obvious, right? But I'm not just saying bring any money, bring your money, whether that be euros, US dollars, UK pounds, bring it here with you and change the money to Thai bar here in Thailand. If you bring your money to the country with you, you'll get a much, much better exchange rate than you would do going into a bank or a post office or something back in your home country and exchanging it for Thai bar. You just won't get as good as a currency exchange that you will do here in the country. There are other options of exchanging money to make it even more real time and even more handy for you, which brings me on to my first bonus tip. Bonus tip numero uno is a transfer wise card. Now, a transfer wise card, what is that? Well, basically it's a card that as long as you live in one of the countries where these are issued, I'm gonna put a link below for you so you can go and check it out. But as long as you live in one of the countries where these are issued, you can get one. Then what you can do is you can transfer your home currency to the currency of the country that you're traveling to. So for example, if you were coming to Thailand, you can transfer the money to this card in Thai bar. Now I don't actually use this very often because obviously I live here in Thailand, I have a Thai bank account, but it was really, really handy when I used to come here on holiday. I have a few thousand baht on there at the moment. I'll actually show you through the application so you can have a little look um, whilst I'm speaking to you right now. But yeah, you literally transfer the money over to your card and then you can use it wherever you want in the world. It's got go card list on there as well, so you can literally just tap it in places that you visit. You also got a pin number on there and it's also got sections on there where you can actually save money. So you can make like a little section within your balance. If you want to save a certain amount of money for a certain thing or you want like an emergency fund, 
transfer wise card go and check it out link in the description below bonus tip number two youtube premium now i shouldn't really be telling you guys about this because if you get youtube premium then you don't have to watch adverts if you don't watch adverts and this page ever gets monetized then i won't make any money out of you but it is what it is i'm giving you guys the best tips to come here to thailand so youtube premium is amazing to come traveling with why because you can download videos now if you're anything like me i spend probably about three hours a day watching youtube videos you're watching youtube videos right now so you obviously do watch youtube videos there's a free trial normally for the first 30 days for people that have never ever used youtube premium so go and get the free trial especially if you're only coming here for a month and you actually get it for free it means that you can download any videos that you want to watch any documentaries any of my videos that you want to watch uh, download them and you can watch them wherever you are whether you're in a plane whether you're on a minibus doesn't really matter you've got it downloaded and you don't have to worry about having wi-fi absolutely incredible value for money even if you're actually paying for it youtube premium go and get it so I hope you found all those tips useful today, guys. I've tried to cover everything that I think would be the best things for you to bring here to make sure you have the best holiday. But once again, if there's anything that you guys think that I've missed, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And also, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you hit the subscription button. On this channel, I talk about living in Thailand, working in Thailand, and traveling around Thailand, and basically just cover everything for everybody that loves Thailand. So hit the subscription button, it's free. And if you've got this far, then you obviously enjoy watching my videos, and I'd really, really appreciate it. Once I get to a thousand subscribers, as well i'm going to be doing live streams on a weekly basis from here in thailand so hit that subscription button hit the like button hit the bell notification i'll see you on the next one sawadee kap